All right, guys, it's time to take a look at Ethereum and in particular Ethereum versus Bitcoin. And what is going to be the better hold for 2021? What's going to make us rich in cryptocurrency? You see that online all the time. It's all the search engine optimization titles going off. There must be someone in there typing, which cryptos are going to make me rich in 2021? Otherwise, you wouldn't use those titles so often. So out of Ethereum and Bitcoin, what is going to make us rich in 2021. Well, that's going to depend on your position size. Sorry to tell you, if you want Hopium, might have to go to another channel. But if you want the data and the charts and the facts as best as we can find, then you've come to the right place. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for joining as well. Be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're new, Thank you as well for coming on board. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon because that allows you to see these videos pop up in your feed. All right, without further ado, let's take a look at Ethereum and Bitcoin. After this massive rally, massive spike, pump, whatever you want to call it, we've seen a nice bounce off the lows uh, just of a couple of weeks ago. It looked like Ethereum was starting to break down against Bitcoin value as Bitcoin started to take off. Now, this is the Ethereum versus Bitcoin chart. So basically, we want to understand what is the risk of holding Ethereum over Bitcoin. Overall, I think we should be holding both. Personally, I'm going to talk for myself because I'm not a financial advisor. I hold both. If you want to check that out, uh, I've got Instagram down below and I post my retirement fund on my Instagram story as well. In Australia, it's called our superannuation for the Americans, your 401k. Guys in Europe, UK, Asia, wherever you're watching from, uh, South America, I've seen a few of you guys as well, you know the deal. So in Australia, we can use an SMSF, all right, self-managed super fund, and that's how I invest in crypto. I've had a few questions about that, especially on my Instagram. W holding both, but which one is going to outperform the other? I personally think Ethereum. That's straight to the point, beginning of the video, within a couple of minutes, few minutes, Ethereum, I believe, is going to outperform Bitcoin but for how long and will it have another slide down? Probably. What I think is going to happen is something like hitting these resistance levels and that's at around 5.05. Uh, so 5% of a Bitcoin value. Maybe we slice straight through it and go straight towards that 7, bounce back, straight towards that 8% bounce and we, we end up having some sort of spike top and then a dump. So the other thing to note from last time, from the last bull market in 2017, this was the first spike top. So let's zoom in on that. We're in early 2017, just like we're in early 2021, 2021 now. Uh, that got us from these lows of 0.7% uh, up to 1.1%. Then it just went sideways for a few weeks. So keep that in mind as well, in case that's what happens with Ethereum now. That's where it peaked, one, two, three, four, started to break on the fifth week, had a little reversal, and then it took off to the races. So somewhere around five to seven weeks is what happened last time before Ethereum then went on that massive run against the Bitcoin value, went up nearly a thousand percent. I don't think that's gonna happen again. I don't think we're gonna go on a thousand percent run against Bitcoin, but I do think we'll get a few hundred percent. Let's have a look here. We're at around 0.3, oh sorry, 3% now. So where I'm getting that is this number here. If you look at this, like the, the number on the left-hand side of the decimal, that would be one Bitcoin. Now, anything on the other side is obviously a percentage of Bitcoin, and I'm just using the three as 3%. So this is like 3.1635%. So currently we're sitting at 3.1%. 3 Let's get our measure. That gives us a 100% increase against Bitcoin. Should we get to some of the uh, previous high levels and then uh, the old all-time high, that gets us to 300%. The, the spike at the top when Ethereum was at its highest USD value, which was in February 2018, that gets us to around 226% increase from our current point. So say you put in one Bitcoin here into Ethereum, you transfer one Bitcoin, put it into Ethereum. As it went to 6%, uh, that's 
then you would have two bitcoins of value in Ethereum. So you still have your same Ethereum number. So say, uh, what I don't know what the number is now, how many Ethereum to one Bitcoin? Someone help me out there. About 30 something, because Ethereum's 1,000 and Bitcoin's 35,000. So, you know, 35,000 thereabouts. You'd now still have 35,000 Ethereum, but you would have two Bitcoins value if we get to that point. Now, if we get to somewhere close to the other old all-time highs, let's get to about 200%, we just need to get to 9%, which is somewhere around these old highs here. So 9%, 10%, that's gonna then give us even more Bitcoins value from our original point here. When that occurs, then I would at least think to sell out some of the Ethereum into Bitcoin. That's, that's what I'm looking at here. I don't think we're gonna see uh, Ethereum take off from this point and then break these highs and never see these levels again. I just can't see that happening, especially as Bitcoin increases in value. So for Ethereum to get anywhere up to this 7%, 8%, 9% level at Bitcoin's current price would mean it would be around a $3,000 Ethereum. You get the maths there out. So we've got 3%, 6% uh, would be double the Ethereum price now, which is at 1,100, so it would be a $2,200 Ethereum. And then if we went up again by another 100%, that would bring us to $3,300 Ethereum. That's if Bitcoin stayed at the current price. Now, of course, Bitcoin, say it's at six figures, we get it to $100,000 Bitcoin. What would the value be of Ethereum here? So we know it's at the 9% level because it's triple where we are now. At 9%, we would be $3,300 Ethereum. If Bitcoin triples to 100,000, because look, for rough numbers, Bitcoin's 35,000 now. It just took off again. <laughs> We've broken all time highs as I'm recording this. 35,600. Uh, with that in mind, would you guys want to see like a live chart watch and just hang out watching the charts? Let me know in the comments down below. Back to the video. Uh, yeah, just the thought. I see it a lot and I kind of enjoy it. I watch it myself. Uh, basically, if Bitcoin tripled, got to 100, 100 and 5,000 just for the numbers here, $105,000 Bitcoin. Then Ethereum's price would also triple. It, would, it was at 3,300, it would then be 9,900. So nearly a $10,000 Ethereum at 9% value of a Bitcoin if Bitcoin is at 100,000. Let me know in the comments if that math doesn't make sense to you or you can't figure out how I did the calculations or if I'm out as well, all right? But I'm pretty sure that's the numbers there. I think Ethereum could be worth even more than that. I think Ethereum could be closer to that 15K level because that would put it into the trillions of dollars at the moment. Let's have a look at, uh, let's have a look at Ethereum and Ethereum's value is around $110 billion. So that would leave us, uh, sorry, 127 billion. So at 127 billion, we're going to multiply that by 15 because we're saying it's about a $15,000 uh, Ethereum. That's going to leave us a $1.2 trillion for the market cap of Ethereum. If you think that is possible, if you think a $2 trillion market cap for Ethereum is possible, then yes, it is possible that Ethereum is going to outperform Bitcoin up to a 9%, maybe a 10% Bitcoin, which brings us back to these old all-time high levels uh, at, that we saw during the previous bull market. All right, let me know in the comments your thoughts. Bitcoin over Ethereum, do I think you should have all of your portfolio into Ethereum over Bitcoin? No. Again, I'm not a financial advisor, that's up to you. Out of the options that we have with cryptocurrency, the safest option that we can see and that we think institutions are moving towards as well, family offices, large money, smart money, it would be Ethereum. And if there was going to be a, a way to increase your Bitcoin position, I definitely think it would be with increasing your position on Ethereum. Now, Ethereum is still under its all-time high. Let's move that back. Uh, this last move from Bitcoin just recently that we're seeing now past its all-time high, look at that, right through the top, uh, 35,000, call it 900, nearly at 36,000. With this last move, this might be one of the last times that it's going to be worthwhile investing a huge amount. It, 
into Ethereum just because the the risk increases so much more as it starts to break its all time high. It's uh, it's much easier to to get gains because there's nothing resisting it above that. But in terms of the multiples, like I've been talking about this since well, I've been talking about it forever, but. I liked these areas as confirmation. Sure, you could have been buying it at 130 US dollars, but there were some nice confirmation levels between 180 and 260. So my returns are already close to 400% if I use the top area of 260. If I use the, the Ethereum that I bought at 180, now I'm up nearly 500%. So think about that as well. There are gonna be people that have bought all the way down here and are using these areas to sell out cash in, make their 500%, which makes this a whole lot riskier, especially with this vertical increase right now. Uh, we're starting to hit some old levels that we saw at the old, uh, the previous bull market. Keep that in mind as well. Obviously we could just slice through them like we saw Ethereum slice through this old top here at around 800, that was beautiful. How many times can it do that? That's, that's another question. So Ethereum. Bitcoin over Ethereum for 2021. I'd definitely be holding some of my position in Ethereum. Well, I definitely do. So that goes without say. But beware of the Ethereum versus Bitcoin chart because we could see some reversals. I don't think this chart is going to look the same as the Ethereum versus US dollar chart, where I think this is just going to get squashed and Ethereum just produce a huge stellar run up and up and up. Actually, I need that well and truly in. If I'm thinking this is going to around 10,000, let's do that just for fun because it looks looks absolutely crazy. There, that's that's incredible. 10,000 leaves this area for dead. It just looks incredible. Last thing I'll leave you on is take note of the tops that happened in Ethereum versus Bitcoin. This peak was previous uh, was higher than this peak here, but this peak had the higher dollar value. February 2018, January 2018, we peaked at 12% uh, Bitcoin value. And in June, we peaked at 15%. For the US dollar in June, we peaked at 400 bucks, next to nothing, because Bitcoin was still so low. And in February, uh, January, late February, we peaked at 1400 and $1,200. Keep that in mind, that might occur again. All right, guys, appreciate your support on the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you did find value from the video, leave us a like down below here and drop us a comment with what you'd like to get up to next in the cryptocurrency space. Thanks again for joining me. I'll catch you at the next one. Until then, have more fun to get more done. Peace out.